All right, everybody, good morning. Monday, try this for size. At first, I'm going to talk about San Jose, California. The average pension for retired cops and firefighters, $95,300, plus health care benefits, plus the ability to cash out unused sick and vacation days with a check on retirement. One cop walked with a $264,000 check. Okay, I'm sure you've got the point. Massive pensions in a city which simply cannot afford them. They will vote, the people of San Jose, vote tomorrow, Tuesday, on whether to rein in the pensions already being paid to existing retirees. So that's the microcosm of a story here, which has huge national implications. Point number one, if Scott Walker wins in Wisconsin, with his, uh, with his attempt to control the municipal unions. If he wins, that has implications elsewhere in the country. And if in San Jose the people also vote to rein in the pensions of municipal workers, that has ramifications elsewhere in the country. The national story is this. All over America, states are going bust because of pension payments to retired city and state workers. All over America, we are firing young people so that we can pay the retirement benefits to old people. Is that right? What about shared sacrifice? You have to bring that in. Well, that's the story of the day, extrapolating out from San Jose to Wisconsin to the whole country. This is the issue. Pensions at the state level, bankruptcy at the state level. Great story. Plus, of course, there is the run-up to the national election in November, the question as to whether the Germans will open up their wallets and allow Europe to spend to bail out Spain and Malta. All of those stories, but we got it all. 9.20, ladies and gentlemen, Varney and Company begins promptly. We'll see you then.